One of the big challenges right now is trying to find a safe and comfortable place to put the survivors of the campfire, those who have been displaced. Well, the Pasquenta Band of Nomlaki Indians has donated 12 spaces here at the RV park at Rolling Hills. <laughs> Placement of these new trailers is nearly complete. These are the first to be installed close to the area of devastation in Butte County. Rolling Hills Casino in Corning, neighbor helping neighbor. A dozen RVs, future homes to campfire survivors. So what you see today is 12 units that were installed and it's a very small setup, right? Uh, but the amount of work that goes in just to get those 12 units sec uh, secured is immense. Now multiply this times a thousand for the campfire need alone. Almost 13,000 properties were destroyed by the wildfire. Finding housing solutions for those survivors is a top priority for both Cal OES and its federal recovery partner, FEMA. Every possible solution is being considered. You know, again, whether it's a state property, there are fairgrounds that are, that are managed by the state. Um, there are parcels of land. There are parks that are managed by the state. All of those things are put on the table. And where we can make a fit, um, Cal OES can step in and help leverage that, help FEMA make those um, connections. These aren't your typical FEMA trailers. It's just one lesson learned during the Hurricane Katrina recovery. This one has blocks. These are travel trailers, the same ones you might buy for your family camping trips. They offer creature comforts that will help make a difficult situation a little more bearable. Whole community, making sure there's a television, a sofa, making sure there's pots and pans in the unit. Uh, but the units uh, are a lot nicer, as, as you can tell. Every one is connected to water, electricity, and sewer. And FEMA bought each one from California retailers, keeping money in the local economy. The final steps are literally in the works. So the goal is to have all of these trailers move in ready by Christmas. And as of right now, pending any further inspections, they will be. Reporting at RV Park at Rolling Hills, Sean Boyd for OESnews.com.